I can guarantee that if you've been a Christian for any amount of time, you've probably heard this phrase that I am a sinner saved by grace. Now, here's the reality. We've all sinned. We've all fallen short of the glory of God. But sin is our past and not our future. Now is the time for California. Wherever California goes, the entire world will go. What is up guys? Listen, I want to dive right into this video today because like I just said, if you've heard that phrase anytime while you've been in the church or a Christian, I want to let you know that there is some truth in that, but it is not the total truth because the reality is when Jesus died on that cross and shed his blood and broke his body, it says that he conquered not only death in the grave, but that he conquered sin. And so as born again believers, Sin is no longer a part of our future. Sin is a part of our past. And you might be saying, Ross, how in the world is it actually possible to live this? How in the world is it possible to not ever sin? And I just want to say before I even get into some scriptures, because yes, it's backed up in the word of God. I want to let you know that if you've never heard this before, I believe that God is really actually going to break something off of your life, that it is possible to walk in full freedom, to walk in intimacy with Jesus and to live a life that is free of sin sin. All right, guys, so you know on the channel, we love the Word of God. So if you have your Bible, open this up with me right now and go with me to 2 Peter chapter 1. And we're going to start in verse 3. These verses have been wrecking me. And honestly, I think they're going to transform your life. They've transformed my life. And it says, by His divine power, so by God's power, He has given us everything we need for living a godly life. We have received all of this by coming to know Him, the one who called us to Himself by means of His glory and excellence. And because of His glory and excellence, tune in here, do not miss this part of the scripture. He has given us great and precious promises. These are the promises that enable you to share His divine nature and escape the world's corruption caused by human desires. Listen, I want to break this down real quick. Number one, it says God has given us everything by his power to live a godly life. And I don't know if you know this or not, but you should know this. And if you didn't, well, here you go. Jesus, while he was on the earth, never sinned. He was free of sin. That's why when he shed his body or when he shed blood and broke his body, he was the perfect sacrifice to forgive us of to forgive us of sin and bring us back to God. And God is saying in, in the scripture is saying we now have that same power living inside of us through the Holy Spirit. Secondly, it's also saying that he has given us great and precious promises. Listen, the promises of God are not just these cute things that God you know, gives us to kind of pat us on the back and hopefully we can survive this life. No, no, no. God intends his promises and fulfills his promises. But not only that, like it says right here in the scripture, these promises enable you, enable me to share in his divine nature and escape the world's corruption caused by human desires. Scripture also tells us that sin comes from human desire. So right here, the scripture is saying that the promises of God and the power of God allow us to partake in his nature and escape the corruption of the world's desires, aka sin. And so this scripture has been so powerful because I want you to know you can actually partake in the divine nature of God. It says it right here in scripture. And it says a key a part in the scripture as well, by coming to know him, the only way to partake in the nature of God and the divine nature is not only his promises and not only by his power, but it's coming to him, living in relationship and being in awareness of, of him every single day of your life. All right, the second scripture. Now this is where it gets even better. Are y'all ready? Buckle up and make sure you drop a comment down below. We'd love to hear feedback and thoughts as we're going through this video. So this comes out of Romans 6, and this is probably, I think in my opinion, one of the most misunderstood um, portions of scripture. And we're gonna read a few different verses here. Follow me, we're gonna read about seven to 10 verses here, but it's gonna be worth it because I believe God is gonna free so many people watching this video right now. So right here, chapter six, verse one. Well then, should we keep on sinning so that God can show us more and more of his grace? Of course not. Listen to this. Since we, you and I, have died to sin, how can we continue to live in it? Paul's basically saying we've died to sin through the death and resurrection of Jesus by being born again, filled with the Holy Spirit. How can we continue to live in it? All right, let me keep going. And then it says right here, have you forgotten that when we were joined with Christ in baptism, we joined him in his death for we died and were buried with Christ by baptism. And just as Christ was raised from the dead by the power of the Father, now we may also live new lives. I'm here to let you know, you might not know this, and I'm going to make a separate video on this, but when you get baptized, it's not just a cute symbolic moment. It is a prophetic moment where you go death to life, where you actually, you don't change when you come to Jesus. Like the scripture says, you actually die. Colossians talks about that your sinful nature gets cut away. 
All right, let's keep going here before I go off. <laughs> Since we have been united with him in his death, we will also be raised to life as he was. We know, listen, that our old sinful selves were crucified with Christ so that sin might lose its power in our lives. We are no longer, you are no longer a slave to sin. For when we died with Christ, we were set free from the power of sin. Listen, friend, I'm here to tell you this might be completely new and this might challenge every thought, everything you've heard in church or everything you've had your pastor tell you, but I want you to know that Jesus' desire for your life is not only to know him, but to walk like him. And it is actually possible to walk free of sin when you understand the promises of God and when you understand that you died with him when you were born again and when you got baptized. These two truths have transformed my life so that I can live in a way that's holy and pleasing holy and pleasing to God. And I want to encourage you watching this right now, that no matter where you're at on your faith journey with God, you can walk free of sin, whether you're in day one or whether you're 50 years in, whether you've heard this before or you've never heard this before. Today is a day of salvation, God says. So we know that God cares about this moment, the now moment. And I believe this is a now moment for some of you to walk free of sin from this day forward. And listen, Here's the reality, just to make it abundantly clear so that people don't call me anything crazy. Romans also talks about that we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So every single person, myself included, yourself included, we have sinned against God and we have been forgiven through Jesus. However, after we give our life to Jesus and we become born again, because of Jesus' death and resurrection, where he conquered the grave and he conquered sin, we can now live in that same exact way where every step, every breath that we take is an awareness of God filled with his Holy Spirit, focused on his promises and understanding that he's with us everywhere we go. Guys, I hope this video encouraged you. There's even more scriptures. And if you want to see a part two of this video, make sure you let me know down below. Um, and if you have any questions as well, please place them down below because I just know that Jesus is calling. Not only is he calling, but he's coming back for a bride that is spotless and pure by the blood of the lamb, free of sin, walking in purity and holiness and in relationship with himself. And I'm going to pop a video up right here as well that I think is going to really help you on your journey and relationship with God. So make sure you check that out. Subscribe to the channel down below before you go. I love you guys and I'll see you soon.